Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So it's another unboxing from the Masters of the Universe today and it's um, one of the Origins figures. Um, it's one I um, ordered from um, the Mattel Creation store. I was getting an order so I thought the shipping's going to be quite expensive so let's pop something else on it. And luckily they had one of the Origins figures I um, didn't have so I thought we'll, um, we'll pop that on just to take advantage of the postage. Um, and this has come today. The other item I have, I have ordered, hasn't quite come yet. There was um, shipped separately, so um, well worth taking advantage of that shipping um, thing. And it's another um, another figure from Series Nine. Now you've already seen me um, unbox the 200X He-Man. Well, we have got the 200X Skeletor. You can see the other figures in the line. So the only two from Series Nine I'm looking for now is Pighead from the Sunman Wave. And Mantena from the Horde. So hopefully we can get them sooner rather than later. But really pleased to have um, managed to pick up the um, 200X Skeletor. So we will get the 200X Skeletor out and have a closer look. So again, um, just repeating, the 200X was a, um, a line of... Um, a new line of Master of the Universe that was released. Um, along with a new cartoon of the series in early the early 2000s around 2002 i do believe um and it, it it was sort of like a redesign of the um the classic characters but in um sort of an up-to-date sort of styling of the um of the figures so obviously skeletor himself got a brand new look as the key man as we saw but it was sort of more like the traditional uh demon rather than the um, New Adventures E-Man that was released some years after the original set. So we will get the um, weapons out for this um, Skeletor and have a closer look at him. So there's a bit more detail into this Skeletor. So the Skeletor has got a complete hooded head here. So the hood goes all the way around. A slightly more um, menacing evil face. Um, you've got a bit more detailing on the um, on the armour, um, sort of a red sort of central bit. Um, you've got um, a bit of a sort of longer sort of guard or garter around his um, around his loincloth, and you've got these big purple shin guards um, instead of boots, and you can see his like webbed feet there on the bottom. Um, he has got like sort of the arm. Guards on both sleeves, both, uh, both cuffs, sorry, um, with um, sort of purple colouring. So quite a nice version of Skeletor. As for weaponry, he does come with his Havoc staff, which is here, and this new design, um, Sword of Power. Um, so we'll pop the sword in one hand. If I can quite get it in. There you go, his sword in that hand. And we should pop the Havoc staff in the other hand and get him ready to um, go on display. So there he is, 200X Skeletor, ready to go up on the shelf. Um, I think we're going to pop him next to the He-Man um, on the shelf. So let's get him into the collection. So there we have the um, 200X Skeletor added to um, the collection next to the He-Man from the same range. So um, gradually adding more figures in. You can see we are stretching down into the um, full level of the um, um, display space. So really gradually picking it up. Um, so nice to add this other Skeletor into the collection. As I say, more figures are on the way, so um, we will gradually grow it even more. But really pleased with how we um, have it so far. So I'll leave you with this last look at the 200X Skeletor. Um, as we go and um, close out this video. So guys, there you have it. The 200X um, Skeletor added to the Origins collection. Another one um, ticked off um, the list. So we are gradually catching up some of the figures I missed in the earlier waves. Um, as always, we have got more um, of the Master of the Universe Origins figures on the way. So once we get them, we will do the videos and get them out to you as soon as they come in. Um, 
Also, um, let me know in the comments what you think of this Skeletor. Do you like it or would you, do you prefer the traditional version? Um, I'm a bit of a vintage guy, so I kind of um, like the traditional um, versions of the characters. But it is always nice to get these different um, different versions. And as I'm bringing these out, it just keeps the line going and um, running um, for me to collect even more of them. Um, also, if you haven't previously, please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so. Otherwise, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.